Welcome back, everybody. Matt and the Bat here. Hope you're doing well. So the other day, we found out that they were making a biofilm on the late, great actor slash comedian Chris Farley. Now, this is an interesting... There's been talk about doing a Chris Farley biofilm for years. Um, I think they recently had a documentary out on him. Um, this guy died very early in his life. He was, it was in the 90s, mid-90s when he died. Um, I remember watching a lot of Chris Farley movies. I mean, obviously from Tommy Boy to Black Sheep to Beverly Hills Ninja to the small role he had in Billy Madison I mean, this, and then all the SNL stand-up, Saturday Night Live stuff he did, Coneheads, I mean, this guy was everywhere in the 90s, in the early to mid-90s, um, and he was hilarious, he was funny. Tommy Moy is still people's, some people's favorite comedy, and um, him and David Spade, great. Um, you gotta wonder where his career would be now if he was still alive. Would he have joined Adam Sandler and done all those grown-ups, grown-ups to part of the Happy Madison production crew, like Kevin James and all of them? Maybe. Maybe he would have teamed up with Adam Sandler even after Happy Gilmore. Who knows? I gotta admit. The casting and the director, I can almost say they almost need to be changed. Right now they're saying that Paul Walter Hauser is going to be playing Chris Farley. Now, he's been, uh, Paul Walter Hauser has been in a lot of stuff. Um, from Richard Jewell, the Clint Eastwood movie, came out in 2019. He's been on Cobra Kai, the show on Netflix. On uh, a bunch of episodes, uh, like I said, he's been he's been everywhere, um, and he's gonna be playing the late great Chris Farley. Now I heard though that okay, that that would work. I haven't really seen him do too much comedic stuff. Like I know he's done a little bit here and there, but straight up comedy, I haven't really seen. And I'm sure that's where this biofilm is going to lean closer to, is the comedic side of it, of Chris Farley. I mean, that's what he's known for. Um, and then they said on the other side that Josh Gad is going to be directing the film. And that's when I really said, stop, hold it, pause, time out. Josh Gad is going to direct this movie? I don't think Josh Gad is directing anything. Number one, that's a big red flag for me. You're getting a, a person who's never directed before coming in to make a biofilm on one of the late, great actors slash comedians of our time. Ooh, I don't know about that. Number two, I said, when I first heard that Paul Walker Hauser was going to be Chris Farley, I said, okay, that, that could work. But then when they said Josh Gad is also involved, I said, wait a minute. Josh Gad would actually be a better Chris Farley than Paul. Josh Gad has shown his comedic chops. You go back to the movie 21, the one with the, you know, going to Vegas, Kevin Spacey, Camp Bosworth. Um, I like that movie. He was funny in that movie. You go to the Jake Gyllenhaal and Hathaway movie. Love and Other Drugs. He plays Jake Gyllenhaal's brother in that. He has a lot of funny moments. Comedic moments. And he, to me, he looks and fits more Chris Farley than Paul Walker Hauser. So I don't know, I mean, part of me is like, oh, cool, and who knows, maybe Paul Walker Hauser will show and give one of the best comedic performances 
we've ever seen. But I almost wish Josh Gad was playing Chris Farley and they got a director who is known for comedy or knows how to do them like, like an Adam McKay who knows how to blend serious moments and funny comedy in like the big short. Or we just saw Craig Gillespie do Dumb Money which had serious moments and comedy sprinkled in. Or I would get like, or why not get one of the directors of like Billy Madison or Hackney Gilmore or Big Daddy who knows how to do comedic movies has worked with like Adam Sandler who Adam Sandler has worked with Chris Farley a number of times and and am I not mistaken the director I think Billy Madison who also Chris Farley was in that movie could direct He's a comedic director who has worked with Chris Farley who can direct a com a, this type of movie. So I don't know. I think, I don't know. I think getting Josh Gad to direct when he's never directed before is a very slippery slope there. I think Josh Gad would be a better Chris Farley than Paul Walter Hauser. So I'm a little trepidatious on this one. Good for them to make it, for making this movie. But... I'm not too big on who they want to star in the movie and who they want to direct the movie. Well, that's just me. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this? Are you happy to see a Chris Farley biofilm come? We don't get that many uh, biofilms on comedians. And this is something different. What do you think about Josh Chad directing? What do you think about Paul Walker Hauser? Uh cast as Chris Farley. Let me know in the comments below. Matt and Bat here.